In response to an action potential, a motor neuron releases acetylcholine. Acetylcholine crosses the synaptic cleft and binds to receptors on the plasma lemma. If enough acetylcholine binds to the receptors, an action potential is generated and transmitted along the full length of the muscle fiber. The action potential triggers the release of calcium ions from the terminal cisterna of the sarcoplasmic reticulum into the sarcoplasm. In the resting state, tropomyosin molecules cover the myosin binding sites on the actin molecules of each sarcomere, preventing the binding of the myosin heads. Once calcium ions are released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum, they bind to the troponin on the actin molecules. Troponin, with its strong affinity for calcium ions, is believed to then initiate the contraction process by moving the tropomyosin molecules off the myosin binding sites on the actin molecules, allowing myosin heads to attach to the actin filaments.